Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you at 10.15 Central European time. Been a hectic morning. My first video had no sound, which was amazing. Uh, but also it was interrupted by purchasing of euros uh, through yesterday's highs and just generally getting long euros. Um, so long euros, long Aussie was the way this morning. That doesn't help you now. Let's look look at Aussie here. It's getting a bit stretched now. Uh, any longs you have, we want to dump here between 85 and 95. 93 was the old, old high. Um... 95 is two and a half sigma, two and a half standard deviations on the day from a 34 simple moving average, something that we we use as just a barometer um, when things get stretched. Uh, so keep an eye um, keep an eye on your Aussie longs. Kind of want to try and lighten up towards 90. Uh, why are we why are we short dollars today? Well, basically, rates have got gotten crushed. Um, equities aren't really doing anything. They're mildly bid, sort of a middling bearish day yesterday, but still middle of the range. Um, but it's really rates here, so rates are lower. They're a little bit higher than they were this morning, down to three six seven. We're buyers um, or we're sellers of the ten year at at three fifty. Just like we're buyers of oil at 70 bucks, these are just standard um, medium-term views that we have. Uh, you can also sell Italian bonds if we get down to sort of say 410. We're at 436 now. Um, for those of you who don't know what BTPs are, um, don't know what Italian bonds are, stay the fuck away from them, right? Those things are squirrely, um, gap open a lot and you really need some experience to trade that shit so um, if you've never done it stay the fuck away uh what else quickly so yeah euro um you know you want to we may have a little bit of a squeeze back to 90 or even back to 80 105 80 but as long as rates are are chilling um let's say below 374 uh i think we can we can buy currency and sell dollars today. Dollar Swiss, we talked about it yesterday, how the market's long dollar Swiss, so fuck, it goes down very quickly. Um, that's a whammo. Those th those 93.95s yesterday looked pretty sexy now, but of course we're not we're not sure. We, we, we took those back at 45. Um, but there should be some there should be some mild support here uh, down at 92.50. Uh, keep in mind, bearish engulfing is 92.29. So uh, don't stick your neck out trying to buy low ones in dollar Swiss yet. The market is long, so the exaggeration will be left-hand side. So you may think that there's no way in holy God's green earth that we're going to get below 92.30 today. I would caution you on that because we could easily get below that because the hysterical side while retail is all long this shit is going to be left hand side that's just the way shit works um, and if you are one of those retail guys who are long dollar swiss you need to be trading this for average you know we talked about dollar swiss being cheap between 93 and 90 the lower band is 90 cents are you going to wear this for 200 and another 200 and 69 points if you are you're not really a trader you're an investor um your risk rewards upside down go go see a psychiatrist i guess is my best advice on that um other were other words other worlds whatever uh, kiwi obviously china's buying all this australian coal this is why aussie's bid but kiwi in sympathy is also bid um are we going to make a new high above these key 63, 63, 40, where's the high, sorry, 63.72, maybe, there's going to be some stops up there, um, we are above the two, we are above the 200 day, so this is solidly bullish, you can buy Kiwi on dips today if we get any dips. Um, 
what else is there? Not too much else. Cable's just flipping around like a maniac. Um, through yesterday's high at 58, we traded up to 85. Then we traded back down to 38 just to fuck with people. Uh, now we're 63. Uh, is this going to peak above 85? Uh, probably. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Uh, again, let's keep an eye on euro. Let's keep an eye on rates. Uh, but, uh, God, if you're a long-term trader in cable, you are having a hard time. Convic conviction short yesterday. Are you going to be conviction long today? Um, God bless. Dollar yen is just swirling around, right? We made some new lows here, 129.94. We flipped back up to 130.62. Um, no idea what's going on in dollar yen. Swiss yen and euro yen, we got paid. Um, we had signals yesterday to buy Swiss yen and euro yen. We picked some up at 139.42 just after the fix in Swiss yen. This is our systematic. And then we picked this shit up at 137.78 um, we trade these for 100 points so we're 138.78 offered so we're still long euro yen wearing a bit of vol on that but it looks okay for now Swiss yen we've already been paid that was pretty sexy uh, because dollar Swiss collapsed not much else to say uh, just want to chip in with the volume on uh, sorry about that. It was very, very hectic morning, right? Holy shit. Came in late after the gym, and Euro and Aussie were popping, so uh, it was a bit of a botch. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Uh, Aussie approaching 68.90.